A narcissist leaves you hanging in the middle of nowhere with so much unclarity. They never give you certainty. Certainty that you need to feel stable. They always keep shape-shifting and leave you confused with a thousand questions to ask. But why can't their actions match their words? Why can't they continuously be the person they were in the beginning of the relationship? After all, it can be that simple. But is it that simple for them? Let's find out in today's episode. Hi, I am Danish, a narcissistic abuse recovery professional. In today's episode, we're going to talk about why a narcissist leaves you hanging in the middle of nowhere, why they never give you any clarity, and how you can free yourself from the confusion that they leave you with. If that sounds interesting and you're eager to learn more with me, please make sure to subscribe before we begin because your subscription to this channel always helps spread awareness about narcissistic abuse. Also, I have created a free healing resource for you. I have created a guide that answers top 10 questions asked by every survivor of narcissistic abuse. You can get instant access by clicking the i button above or by finding the link in description of this episode. Needless to say, all narcissists are deeply insecure. It's not like they have small insecurities like you and I do. No, their whole being is a big insecurity in itself. So they need to stay distracted. If they were to bring that focus back to themselves, if they were to look within and acknowledge this insecure self, their narcissistic self will shatter and they will stop existing. This is the reason why they are driven by control. They are driven by supply because that keeps them away from their reality. What is their reality? There is no one home. There is shame inside. There is a lot of rottenness that they do not want to acknowledge. So when they leave you hanging with so much unclarity, they feel great about themselves. Their delusions of grandeur are reinforced. Their grandiose idea of self, their entitlement are proven true to them because they want their environment to reflect how they see themselves. They want the environment to mirror it, but it doesn't always happen. And and that's why their need for control is so intense, so deep. They leave you thirsty. They leave you unsatisfied. Why? Because they know by doing so, you will come for more. You will see clarity. You will have a thousand questions to ask and they will have no answers to give. But they know they love the fact that you're driven by them. Your emotions are driven by them. Having emotional control over you is like a drug to them, a very hardcore drug that numbs their sense of insecurity temporarily. It just makes them feel so good about themselves. They are on the cloud nine when they are driving you crazy. Which means that we need to acknowledge that there is some thought process behind keeping you on edge, keeping you one inch away from your breaking point. They know that by giving you clarity, by answering your questions, you won't be as unstable as you are. They know the answers, but they don't want to give them to you. They want you to stay confused because that will keep you in the track that will keep you there as a source of supply. As long as you're confused and you're doubting yourself and you're doubting your worth, they can come back and use you and reuse you multiple times without the fear of losing you as their primary source of supply. When they leave you hanging, they also leave you with a chronic sense of self-doubt because if you were to confront them and ask them, why don't you answer my questions? I mean, why aren't you as interested as you were in the beginning of the relationship? Why are you ignoring me? Why have you changed? Instead of taking responsibility and directly telling you that I just like the chase, I like you begging for the breadcrumbs, they will make it about your lack of emotional intelligence, lack of anything you can imagine. They will say you are too intense, you are reactive, you are clingy, you are bitchy, you ask too many questions, you trigger me, you this, you that. Basically, they will bring it down to blaming you and making it your fault so that you can downplay your needs and become a smaller version of yourself. You have to put yourself in a smaller box to fit in, to accommodate in their life. But still, it won't be enough. You will start shutting down. Your voice will go away and a part of you will start dying only to make the narcissist 
accept you. And that is where this self-betrayal part comes into the picture. You unconsciously self-betray because you have to please the narcissist. Why? Because they got you to the point where you are chronically doubting yourself, your importance, your sanity, your emotions. And now you have to please them so that they can approve you. They can validate you. This is a dark psychological game where they give you a lot of approval in the beginning. They idealize you. They put you on the pedestal, but then later take it all away and you're left feeling naked. You are wondering what the hell happened here. I thought I had that support. I thought I had this person with me, but then where are they gone now? It is like you're left in total fog. You can't see beyond a meter. Everything is so unclear and you are supposed to find your way out. That is what it is like to deal with a narcissist when you're also dealing with this chronic self-doubt and this unclarity they leave you with. You need to understand that you do not deserve to be breadcrumbed by anyone because love doesn't work this way. If someone truly loves you, there will be consistency, there will be reliability. You wouldn't have to question their nature, their personality again and again. You wouldn't have to watch videos or listen to episodes like this. You wouldn't have to Google their personality traits, their ways of behaving. You will have total clarity and you will know who you are with because you will see a pattern of consistency you will see the same person. Yes, there will be ups and downs, but overall there will be consistency. Their core nature will not change and oscillate as much as you see in the narcissist case. You need to understand that this hanging in the middle of nowhere is a hypnotic state like a hypnotic state that was induced to keep you in this state of fog so that you keep putting them on the pedestal so that you keep coming for more and they keep withholding but sometimes throwing a breadcrumb here and there. It is a well-designed maze of the narcissist. They want you to chase them only to get nothing at the end of it. If you are stuck in this maze, you gotta get yourself out. Yes, it is going to be painful, but the only way is to exit if you want to reclaim your peace, if you want to move forward. There is nothing to achieve here. There is nothing to discover. There are no questions here, true questions that need to be answered. The only question that needs to be answered is, do I deserve to be treated this way? Is this how love works? And you and I both know the answer is no to both of these questions. That was it for today's episode. I hope you found it insightful. If you did, please let me know in comments, drop a like and share this episode with others. I'll talk with you in the next one. Until then, let the healing begin.